During the try-in, you must examine the function, aesthetics, and phonetics of the denture. First of all, check the centric occlusion and the static contact relations, followed by the contacts and guidance in lateral protrusion and protrusion. Subsequently, make sure that the lower posterior teeth are set in a statically correct position. Use a ball-shaped condenser for this purpose. Since the functional triens form the permanent denture bases, they should be very stable. The suction effect should be evident in the upper jaw in particular. Now check the lip support, the aesthetic position of the anterior teeth and the buccal corridor. Verify the vertical dimension by asking the patient to say such words as Mississippi and 66. Ask the patient to articulate a long-drawn letter F. This allows you to check the phonetically correct position of the incisal edges of the upper anterior teeth. If desired, a lack of volume can be built up with soft wax plates. Ideally, the incisal edges should touch the lower lip in the transition from the dry to the moist red lip tissue. Since the position of the teeth during the functional triangle cannot be changed, any adjustments have to be made at a later stage in the dental laboratory. Therefore, it is important that you provide the dental technician with detailed written or oral instructions. Furthermore, you can provide the laboratory with photos showing the desired adjustments or mark these changes directly on the functional try-in.